Bill Plant uh, joins us now with a, a, a look back on Barack Obama and the road and how he got here. Hope is what led me here today. With a father from Kenya, a mother from Kansas. And a Obama was raised mostly in Hawaii by his mother and his grandmother. His only contact with his father came briefly at the age of six. But the parent he calls the old man had an impact. I always uh, offer up this quote, every man's either trying to live up to his father's expectation or make up for his father's mistakes. And, you know, I suppose for me, not having a, a father in the home led me to uh, do both. A chance meeting after graduating from Columbia University brought him to Chicago to work as a community organizer. It was that experience, years later, which he used when he ran what some call the most disciplined presidential campaign ever. It all starts with community organizer, bottom up, go door to door to, to talk to people and to listen. That's the guiding principle from the very beginning. Law school gave him a taste of success when he became the first black president of the Law Review, an honor he could have parlayed into legal stardom. Someone who could easily have been clerking for one of the most prestigious federal judges, working in one of the biggest law firms. Instead, Obama returned to Chicago and spent six months in 1992 running a voter registration project on the South Side. Our task was simple. It was to get disenfranchised communities, minority communities, low-income communities to turn out to vote. The registration drive was a big success. It impressed a lot of people. It created some people who were a little jealous. This young upstart had come in and was being taken quite so seriously. Obama went to work for Judson Minor's civil rights law firm and won a state Senate seat in 1996. There were elements in the African American community of Chicago who uh, thought Brock was sort of an elitist. And that's one reason Obama lost badly when in 2000 he challenged a popular member of Congress. Four years later, Obama ran for the U.S. Senate. Now, Republicans ran Alan Keyes, who didn't even live in the here. state. Obama won by a margin of 43 points. In 2004, before Obama went to the Senate, Democratic nominee John Kerry offered him a huge national platform, the keynote address at the Democratic National Convention. People don't expect government to solve all their problems, but they sense deep in their bones that with just a slight change in priorities, we can make sure that every child in America has a decent shot at life. That's when I think most people turned their heads and said, wow, who's that guy? Where's he from? Obama entered the 2008 presidential contest an underdog. Well, thank he you, is the, the perfect combination of old school politics, an open politics, a grassroots bottom-up community organizer but also a backroom deal. On January 3rd last year, he stunned the political world with a resounding victory in the Iowa caucuses. Because we are not a collection of red states and blue states. We are the United States of America. He lost the next contest in New Hampshire to Hillary Clinton, but his hidden strength was already producing results. Yes, we can heal this nation. Yes, we can repair this world. Yes, we can. Yes, we can. A viral passion ignited in the grassroots, which brought him enormous sums of money and an army of campaign volunteers. That, combined with voters' desire for change and dissatisfaction with the economy, helped him defeat John McCain. It's been a long time coming. But tonight, because of what we did on this day, in this election, at this defining moment, Change has come to America. The young man with the audacity to reach so high so soon had proved it was a risk worth taking. Bill Plant, CBS News, Washington.